Today is going to be a fun day because I found an airline stock that you've probably never heard of that I just started buying. My longtime regulars will remember when I started buying Mesa Airlines and how it quickly went from $6 to $17 back in February of 2021. While I'm not expecting that type of a rocket launch on this airline, I do believe airline stocks have bottomed and that now is the time to start buying select airline stocks. Here's what we're going to cover in today's video. Number one, we're going to do a quick airline technical analysis so you can see what a bottom looks like on the charts. Number two, a quick side-by-side -side fundamental analysis to look at the top airline stocks. Number three, an earnings review to drive home that the airline industry is recovering. And number four, which stock I bought and why. In our current market, airline stocks are not getting much love and based on the technicals and earnings, I think they have turned the corner. So if you want to get in early while the prices are still low, then today's video should open your eyes to why now is a golden opportunity that nobody else is covering in detail. But before we jump into our airline stocks, here are a few of our winning trades from yesterday with profits from 2 to 65%. If you're not making these types of gains in your accounts, then join our Discord to get all of our hot stocks, trade alerts, and help from our awesome community. And the airline stock I'm covering today was a trade alert yesterday that shot up immediately, so stick around to the end of this video when I go over that alert in detail and why I bought it. We're now in Thinkorswim and we're looking at United Airlines and I wanted to show you an easy way to spot a bottom and to see that a stock has started an uptrend. Right now we're looking at the one year day chart and what we're looking for are the moving averages. The blue is the 20 day and I use exponential moving averages. The red is the 50 and the white is the 200 day moving average. What we're looking for is for the stock to be trading above all three of the different moving averages and we want them stacked in order of the 20 over the 50 and the the 50 over the 200 and we definitely want that 200 day moving average to be going up and we can see United Airlines has just started that trend. For SkyWest, we can see that they are clearly in a downtrend. It looks like the 20 is just now crossing over the 50, but nothing is above that 200 day moving average and it's still pointed down. Real simple, easy technical analysis. We're now looking at Ryanair and this is a stock that I know really well because they fly in Asia and I've made good money with them in the past and if we look at their chart here, we can see they're just now starting to turn the corner. We've got the price over all three moving averages but we're not stacked yet. We want that 50 over the 200 and we definitely want that 200 to be going up. Delta Airlines, ticker DAL, they're in a similar position. And now we're looking at Copa Holdings, which is Copa Airlines, ticker CPA, and this is exactly what we're looking for. If you look at the one-year chart, we can see over on this side, we've got the 20 over the 50 and the 50 over the 100. And if we look back, we can see it's been moving up, so it has bottomed and there is definitely an upward trend forming now. And last but not least, we've got Alaskan Air, ticker ALK, and we can see they're approaching these crossovers, but they're not there yet. We're now at beastmodeanalysis.com and if you want to run your own side-by-sides, jump over to that website and check it out and then you can also use my free option analyzer, really helpful. So each of the different ticker symbols we're looking at today, we've got Copa Holdings, which is Copa Airlines CPA, Ryanair Holdings, R-Y-A-A-Y, SkyWest, S-K-Y-W, Alaskan Air Group, A-L-K, Delta Airlines, D-A-L, and United Airlines, U-A-L. If we come down and we look at the P-E ratio, we can see these are all ranging from we've got a negative on United Airlines and then we've got a high on Alaskan Air at 111.1 and then if we go a little bit further we'll take a look at the income statement and what I love to look at is the net income margin and this is based on a fiscal year so whenever they report the fourth quarter earnings these are going to be updated and they're going to change quite a bit. And because the airlines were rocked so hard with COVID and they're quickly coming back, we really want to have an emphasis on what their revenue growth is and also on the charts that we just covered. So we're going to go ahead and scroll down a little bit further here and let's take a look at the balance sheet. This is always something that's worth checking out and I love to compare the total assets versus the total liabilities. We always want this number to be above one and if we take uh, COPPA Holdings as an example, we can see they've got $4.2 billion in assets. Their liabilities are two point. 
1.9 billion, giving them a total ratio of 1.44. And the higher this number, the better. Ryanair is our winner. And then we've got a little bit of a reason for concern. These guys are pretty skinny. Delta Airlines and United Airlines, I mean, they're both just barely over one. And then what I really want to show you guys right now is going to be the revenue growth forecast. So we've got Copa, their revenue growth forecast is 96.2%. Ryanair is 119.8%. And this is what we want to see. And then we've got SkyWest, their revenue growth is only 13.4%. So to me, that's a red flag for them. Alaskan Air, they're okay at 57%, but they're still much lower than Copa and Ryanair. We've got Delta Airlines at 68.2%. And then we've got United Airlines at 82%, which is really good. And now I want to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison on tip ranks to show you what the analysts are thinking and how these guys have performed over the last year. And I've added a couple of more different airlines just so we can get a bigger picture. And we're sorting them based on the yearly gains. So here we can see Mesa Airlines is our biggest loser. They lost 56.53%. And what I really want to point out is that all except two of these different stocks lost money in the last year. And our two winners was Copa Holdings up 1.35%, which isn't much. And then we had United Airlines, they were up 2.51%. Now, the other thing I want to go over is sorting these guys by the analyst price target. And here we can see, oh, let's sort this to the highest, actually. Copa Holdings is our highest with 45% of upside, and it's currently rated a strong buy. We've got Delta Airlines with roughly 28% of upside, another strong buy. And then we've got Alaskan Airlines with 24% of upside, and it's rated as a strong buy. And then after that, we've just got moderates, holds, and even a sell for SkyWest, which hasn't been performing very well at all. And now I'd like to show you a couple of the different earnings uh, information from tip ranks, which is very helpful and show you what I am and am not looking for. So if we look at Ryan Holdings right here, we can see that their earnings started going up. They had a massive increase right here, but their forecasted earnings right now are much lower down to $1. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at United Airlines. That should be UAL. And here, what have we got? We've got things have started to turn to the upside, but they're pretty flat right now. The estimated earnings were 228, they reported 281, and their estimated earnings now are gonna be down just a little bit. And then let's take a look at COPA, CPA, and check this out. They are rated a strong buy, and this is what we're looking for on the earnings. We want them to steadily be going up. So here they estimated was 29 cents. They came in at 32 cents in beat. In quarter three, it was 273 estimated, and then 291, and now check out the quarter four estimates are 387. So these guys are definitely in a full swing recovery. We also saw that on the technical analysis and the charts. So the stock I'm buying is Copa Airlines and they currently offer approximately 295 daily scheduled flights to 76 destinations in 32 countries in North, Central, and South America and the Caribbean from their Panama City hub. Copa Airlines profitability and revenues are growing rapidly and the analysts have it rated as a strong buy with a one-year price target that is 49% higher than the current price. I believe Copa is outperforming other airlines and based on everything I cover today, I'm buying them for the long term. And now let me give you a sneak peek at our Discord and I'll show you the trade alert that I sent out yesterday. And this was sent out at 9.58 a.m. And if you notice it's p.m. here, that's because I'm in Thailand. So we've got buy alert CPA at 85.50 and that's what I paid for the stock. I like Copa Airlines for the long term and I'm starting to buy it. Copa is currently in a squeeze and CPA has a lot going for it. It was one of the few airlines profitable in 2022. Copa has a revenue growth forecast of 96.2% and I expect after they report quarter four earnings that their net profit margin will go up as well. And then we can scroll down here and this is an update that I did this morning. And this is CPA update up 2.82% in one day, which is more than expected. Our timing was perfect. So let's review the technical analysis. Number one, we were able to get in before the squeeze fired. Number two, CPA moved on increased volume. And number three, momentum is up. This is a classic squeeze scenario and exactly what we want to see. I expect airlines to report good Q4 earnings, which should take Copa Airlines higher. And then here we've got a little chart that I included. So our squeeze fired, and that is shown right here by this little green arrow. And then we can also say it says squeeze fired because it's fired yesterday on this exact day. 
after we bought it. Then we've got increased volume and this is really important and you can see the volume spiked up exactly what we want to see on a squeeze play and our squeeze is identified by these red dots right here on the zero line and then our momentum is up. We always like to play in the direction of the momentum and anytime the momentum is up on my indicators that's going to be green right here on the momentum dream indicator and we can also see that our momentum is up and then if we look at our indicators my regulars you guys know that I love green on green scenarios so we picked up a buy signal a couple of days ago and we are definitely green on green and if you do want to grab my indicators check out the link in the comments down below I've got indicators in both uh, thinkorswim and also on trading view so check those out I welcome your questions and if you have any airline suggestions for me let me know in the comments down below and for those of you wondering about Mesa Airlines they are up 66 percent in the last month which is impressive however Mesa Air's revenue growth is only 2.8 percent and at this time I don't see them as a good long-term investment if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you'd like to receive all of our trading alerts and get help from our awesome community, then join us in Discord where you'll also get many of my Thinkorswim indicators for free. Peace and I'll see you on the next video.